Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimatch review. Today we have the... A bag. Today we have the Battle Beasts New York Comic Con 2018 exclusive... Uh, Desimodius, apparently is what his name is. This was a Comic Con exclusive, ran about $6, and... Battle Beasts was a line from a couple years ago. I think it was 2013, 14. Uh, I think it premiered in 2012, and the main line didn't come out until later. But there was a second wave. Essentially, essentially what Battle Beasts was, it was um, a bunch of furries from space, and they came to Earth to fight. And that was about it. Uh, I bought like the first issue because Luke's Toy Store had a variant, and that's about as far as I got. <laughs> So, um, they did one wave, it had Toys R Us wave, that had a couple different variant figures and two exclusives. One was a bat, a brown bat, and one was a moose. And then in Series 2, they had another bat. This was repainted to look more like Batman. Ho oh ho! There was also a Robin in the wave. Ho oh ho! But that got canned. Two of the figures made it to comic shops and Toys R Us as part of like a indie comic uh, line, but the rest of the wave has yet to see a re retail release. But the bat has made it, so that is three out of eight figures. So it's just in a poly bag, uh, Battle Beasts Desmodius, New York Comic Con 2018. Learn more at bit.ly forward slash Battle Beasts. That just takes you to the Diamond Select Toys uh, website. It doesn't like talk about like a revival or anything. Something interesting about Battle Beasts is they were actually um, an old uh, Hasbro toy line from the 80s. They were like, uh, kind of like robotic animals and they had like a heat sensitive thing you could rub here and it would show like an icon. Diamond uh, actually bought the rights to the license, so they technically own Battle Beasts as a brand. Uh, like somewhat, I don't really know what the technicalities of it are. So they did like a Mini Mates line and a comic to like sort of retro revival, but I don't know how well it went. And here we go. Here we have a, a bat. Unfortunately, I do not have the original uh, version to compare, so we just have the bat. But essentially, like I said, all Battle Beasts were furries. Um, they had sculpted heads. I, I liked them um, just because I'm into that aesthetic. But this guy, pretty good. Like I said, clearly taking inspiration from Batman because of the gray, black, and gold. But, yeah, pretty nice. Very, very nice detailing all over. Uh, he's got digit-to-grade legs going down to these little talons. Minimal torso detailing on the Minimate chest and then Minimate arms. And really that... That's it in terms of standard Minimate pieces, is the torso and the arms. The rest is a uh, all-new sculpting. So he's got these very long hand pieces that come out into wings, because he's a bat. Those look nice. I like the contrast from silver to gold. Very clean. He's also got a belt with two little pegs. We'll get to that in a minute. He's got some armor bits right here. Going Back, you can see what I would assume to be part of the wingspan. Kind of got that membrane and that goes on to the arms. Then the head is just a, a bat face, a very angry bat. Very nicely detailed though, paint's kind of minimal, and it's a not the best when you look inside the mouth, especially with these teeth, but I mean with this scale you can't really complain. And it's on a swivel, so that's nice. Uh, and then Accessory-wise, comes with a display stand, but you can't use it because he's got tiny holes. So you're just kind of stuck with a regular uh, peg. Then he's also got two weapons. He's got a sword. It's kind of a scimitar thing. It's got like a bat wing print, and he can either hold it or... And then I do not know the technical word for this. It's one of those like spinny... 
uh, disc sort of things, kind of like a battering. And then you can either hold it or peg it. In terms of holding it though, I'm not sure he can really do it greatly because it's kind of a small grip and his hands quite large. So I don't really know how he's going to be holding it. He could hold it probably like this. That works. So overall, that was the Battle Beasts Minimates, New York Comic Con 2018 exclusive Desmodius. Uh, it's decent. I like him. He's nice. It's just kind of a reminder that Battle Beasts was a thing, and I wish they'd come back because I thought they had very, very nice sculpts. Is this a necessary figure? Uh, probably not. It's just kind of a nice tongue-in-cheek thing because it came out in October, which is Halloween time, near Comic-Con. He looks kind of like Batman. You got all these things that are like, oh yeah, I get that. For $6, I mean, that's not a bad exclusive. I would have preferred a two-pack, maybe with that Anubis figure that never happened. Definitely not another human. Uh, focus on the beasts that battle. But mostly I just wish Battle Beasts would come back. Very nice sculpting, uh, good paint, good solid, and uh, really my only complaint is uh, his display stand isn't the right kind. But that's just what I think. If you guys managed to pick this up, I did not go to Comic-Con. I actually had somebody get this for me at the convention, and I was like, listen, give me two, because I knew he would not be available anywhere else, so I was just... I wanted to take precaution. So anyway, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Check me on social media, and did you like the video? Well then rate, comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you later.